sorry about that guys my phone rang and it shuts off my camera because I film on my phone so I'm back and I was telling you about um, going to the dining movie theater with my granddaughter super fun they just built one in their town we don't we don't have one of those here and um, I think I mean I don't know I don't think there's any other ones in Montana but maybe there's one in Billings but anyway this one was in Missoula and so we went to the movie we went to Ready Player One and um, it was really awesome Steven Spielberg what a genius that guy is so um, anyway oh boy that feed sack stuff tears awesome okay well that's good to know isn't it okay so I'm making this little piece of fabric about the size of this card and I think we'll go we will go I don't know maybe about down to there I'm not gonna get too precise about it yeah, so anyway, we had we had such a good time. She's such a sweetheart and it was so cute cuz she got she got dressed up and you know, and we had dinner before the movie, you know, right there in our seats. That is just a really cool thing. <laughs> and um I thought that, you know, the waitresses and stuff might be a little distracting from the movie, but they've really got it down to where they're just they just kind of sneak in and out and it's not it's not distracting it's I think I'm gonna go down just a skosh lower on this one just give that a little extra bead there so um yeah so anyway we we had ourselves a little movie and then we went home and she played with the dog and I did I do I probably probably checked on all of you guys on my channel and um, went to bed and then Sunday morning we had a super lazy morning because um, the little one was at a sleepover so see I'm lining that up almost but I'm leaving a little bit of a crack because we're going to um, we're gonna sew in then the pages. I might just set that aside to dry for a second, but um, maybe I don't have to because it's not gonna be on the glue anyway. <laughs> so you guys, doing these craft with me's and moving my sewing machine back and forth, it's not great on my shoulder. <laughs> But I do it anyway, because it's just too much fun to craft with you guys. I just goobered up the tape that I had sticking down my craft mat, pulling my sewing machine. So I'm trying to try and stick that back down. Um, yeah, so anyway, um, I just had a great weekend, and so that was, a, that was fun. But the reason I told you all of that is because... I was dying to get back to my craft room. We had the kind of lazy Sunday morning where we were just, you know, she was watching things on her little iPad and I was, I was watching YouTube videos on junk journals <laughs> and, um, it was, it was great, but I don't know. It was a little, I am used to just doing things, you know, just getting things done. And so in that way, I was kind of like, oh, got to get home to my craft room. I have stuff to do before I can't do it for a while, you know. And so, um, so yeah, I'm just going right down the crease. And so I'm not even not even going through the cards I'm just going through the fabric in that little space that we left so I should have had a disclaimer at the beginning of this for um, for Kim who has ordered this book for me if you don't 
If you don't want to see what's going to be in it, don't watch. <laughs> but, okay, there we go. Trim that off, and that's so cute. We have a little, have a little booklet there, but I think it needs, it needs some trim. So, I have what I am thinking is I have this trim that I just got from a tattered dream. Um, I love this trim. She has it in teal and peach and she just started carrying it in pink. And I think it's so adorable. Look at that. Isn't that going to be cute? Okay, let's do that. Um, yeah, so, so check out Denise. I'll for sure put Denise's, um, link below to her Etsy shop too. And while we're talking about Denise and a tattered dream, um, I had a message from one of my, one of my YouTube pals, one of you that, um, she was ordering from a tattered dream for the first time. And she messaged me because she was concerned because the postage was so much and um and it, it it is when you initially order it I, for some reason Etsy doesn't combine the shipping and it just it it gets real high but Denise always refunds the overages so don't let that stop you from ordering from her because um it's not good the shipping is not going to be what it initially shows on your order, if that makes sense. So just wanted to throw that out there because I don't want people to be, oh, look what I did. I put it on the wrong side because <laughs> I was too busy talking to all y'all. Well, let's do this. We'll just put some on the other side too. It'll be two-sided. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can't, uh, walk and talk at the same time. I don't know how I think I'm going to be able to craft and talk at the same time. Oh, uh, well, here's the thing. I think this little, this little book just wanted trim on both sides. And so that's, that's why that happened. Okay. Well, no harm done. We'll just put a little right here too. Yeah. So anyway, um, yeah, cause I, I order from Denise all the time and, um, and I always get really pretty large refunds on my, um, on my shipping because of course I make large orders. <laughs> so anyway, just wanted to tell you that don't let that, it's unfortunate because I feel like People get spooked by that and then don't order. I mean, this gal said that um, she had she had tried to order before and just saw the shipping and went, ugh, you know. So, so yeah. Okay. Well, there's a little a little tablet of paper that will be fun to put in there. That's that's a fun little thing. Okay, what else was I think? Oh, I know. Um, so this morning while I'm eating my breakfast, I got on YouTube and of course Wendy had another tutorial and I'm like, oh girl, you kill me because I always get sidetracked and have to do the things that, you know, that she, that she um, talks about. I kind of want something with some color. One of these is why I'm filtering through here and this actually this is all plants um house plants not outside plants <coughs> oh excuse me and i forgot to bring water down <coughs> excuse me so yeah it is it's all although this one i like that one that's a good one and then Oh, I'm sorry. Um, should have had my water. 
well, if there's a part three to this, then we'll, we'll do that. Um, so anyway, Wendy did another tutorial and it was kind of just on making, um, like a little pocket. And so I'm going to play with that a little bit. And, um, so all I'm going to do is grab my sewing machine. I do better if I stand up to do that. Okay. And deciding what stitch again. Um, I really do like the leaf one for, I think I'll do that again. Cause I'll, I'll do enough zigzags and stuff. Um, when I'm doing different other different things. So actually I think I'm gonna do a little stitch or two in straight just to reinforce that edge there a little bit because it's gonna be a pocket. Um so yeah, Wendy's been doing a lot of fun things with um, Project Life cards and Tim Holtz paper, and that's how she did this project too, but I just really want to use these um, plant, uh, these fun plant things just as they are, because for a garden journal, they're just perfect. So, so I'm missing out on my friend Judy's retreat this weekend because I didn't know if I was going to have my surgery tomorrow or, and I still don't. <laughs> um, and then, and then I have another retreat that I go to in the spring. Um, with my friend Diane and I'm gonna miss that one too but I should be close to being out of my sling by the time I do the junk journalers junket retreat that is the one that I'm hosting so um, so I'm glad about that because um, it's a long time till fall and um, both those re retreats I was talking about that I'm missing, we have done them spring and fall. And so, so I'm missing the spring round. Okay, so Wendy, on some of them she did the little cutout here and some she didn't. So, I don't know. I'm trying to think of, you know, what I think I might put in there. Popping up as usual, as I do. So, I got these Project Life cards on clearance at Joann's, I don't know, last year or something. And they're kind of nice because they're just plain. And you can write on them. And I'm wondering if... Oh, look at that! Perfect. Okay. So then what I want is, um, I want to tab. So I am going to grab my punch if I can do it without hitting my camera here. Okay. And then I kind of want some floral paper. So I'm just going to look at my look at my scraps back here and see if I have something that would work. Something fairly thick. You know what? This would be pretty if there's enough of it. Let me grab it. Oh my goodness, it's sinking to the bottom. I don't know if there's enough of it, but it's pretty. It would be pretty on there. Let's see enough. Oh, we do. Sometimes it's just getting it perfectly centered, you know. So, um, there's still a 
still a little bit of that left. I think what I'll do is just cut this like that and stick it in my scraps. I love that paper so much. I can't bear to waste any of it. Okay, so I'm just going to fold that over and... little of this on both sides and I want this to be the front and I think I want this up kind of a little bit so I'm just gonna stick that right on there and I don't do really any distressing in my garden books because I want them to be bright. I want them to be happy, bright florals. And so, um, so yeah, so that's cute. That'll be fun just to clip on a page. And what I like about these is they, they're movable. You know, she can move them in the book wherever she wants. Okay, cool. So then my other thought with those, which maybe I'll do this one that way, is um, just to grab a piece of, I don't want to use my good feed sack, I'm just going to use a scrap of some sort of floral here. Let me see what I've got. Um, huh. What else this is happy and bright, and I don't know what else I'm going to use that on, so maybe I'll use this. Um, and put just maybe this extra coffee dyed paper. I can just. What I'll do is just kind of decide the length-ish and like that. And then I probably want to cut it about here, which you can tell I'm not being super precise about this, but so I want to put that on the back for writing space. And then I just kind of want to do like a like a fabric ruffle at the at the top. So maybe I'll cut off about this much of this. This was in a bag of scraps that my friend Diane gave me. She is a, she's a quilter. And so, let's see, and I maybe just want this in half. So maybe I'll do two of them like this. Okay, well that didn't tear very straight. Oh, oh well, that's all right. Okay, so I'm just gonna sew this quick like. And kind of hold this on the back. Let's see, let's go this way so I don't have to have the card underneath the sewing machine there. Sorry, I am not completing my sentences. <laughs> drives my husband nuts. <laughs> oh, because I don't know, maybe it's my ADD or something, but I am saying one thing and thinking about the next thing I'm going to do or say. So, yeah. And I just, I just scrunch it under. I'm not, I'm not precise about this at all. So, Let's 
squeaking going through that little card. <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, 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 I don't know what I was talking about, but Gosh. I really could use a sturdier table for my sewing machine, you guys. This little vintage table, it just wiggles and wobbles. One of the legs is not that great. And so I set down my sewing machine and things fall off of the other things I have sitting here. And it's like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, that's cute. And just a little extra journaling spot, right? Yeah. Fun. Okay. So, might be done playing with those for now. I'm going to leave them handy. I did want to do something with this. I just, I at that vintage market, I bought a pillow and it had this tag in it or on it. And um, it has the bees and everything. So, when I was taking that off this morning, I was like, oh, that would be really cute in that journal so but of course they wrote on the back what were they thinking it should have had a sticky note <laughs> don't they know I want to reuse okay let me see if I have a strip of um, coffee dyed paper that might be oh yeah I do I do I do I do that's about that size right I think it is Oh, it's so close. So close. I wonder if there's... I didn't cut that one straight, obviously. Maybe this one would be better. Yeah, that one's going to cover it for sure. Okay. Cool. Okay. So, I am just going to... And I go around the back here with this glue in a thin little bead of it. And I'm um, just going to lay this in the corner. Like so, press it down, make myself another scrap here. hole punch. There it is. And I think I might have I might have one more thing of no, I used it all up. Okay, I had some brown trim from Jamie from Happy Mail that I was going to use, but I'll just use my tattered dream eyelash trim which is awesome it's super fluffy I love it the the eyelashes are really long on it so it's just kind of fun okay and we'll just top that and we've got a little tag for I've done this with um, clothing tags before too so I'm always kind of on the lookout. Not that I buy the clothes because 
because of that. But, you know, if you just get a little nice little tag with them, it's just a bonus, isn't it? Okay, I think I want to um, take my vintage photo. It's just kind of, well, maybe I'll use the... And just kind of go over that. I think the glue, you know, the bumps from the glue make it kind of look fun and distressed. Okay, and then maybe I'll walnut stain. You guys, I turned my um, I turned my tripod the other way, so kind of like the steer stick. I don't know what you would call it. Is um, is pointed away from me, and it gives me so much more room to move without hitting the camera all the time. I'm not sure if you noticed how few times I've hit the camera so far, but, you know, now that I've said that, I'll hit it every time I move. Okay, so, so that's fun. That's a fun little tag for in there. Okay, so next, let's do this. I, um, I already have prepared some tags to make, um, Tracy Fox type tags with and I think for the bottom hmm choices choices I think what I'm going to do is use some of this is um these are pages out of a field guide and um they're so pretty I really I like them so, I think we'll use the pages for the pockets. And... that one there and I think then for the tag I might use I was just noticing how similar those plants look I'll use a, a cigarette card on that one so that'll be cute and then this one I think I'll use this side this one's kind of not as not as bold looking. Okay, so. I might be able to use these pages like in a little, maybe make a little notepad or something and stick those in. Okay, so. Do that. And then, um, what did I do with my Edith Holden pages? I have some that are kind of cut up as is. I like this type better than the typewritten part. So... that and I'm going to tear down this way too maybe save that for something oh yeah that's going to fit just fine okay so let's see I think I want my distress inks. 
for these. Move these too. I can move my cards as well. Okay, it'd be best to move them somewhere where they're not gonna fall over. <laughs> okay, let's see. All right, now we've got some room to rock and roll here. All right, so I think I'm just gonna a little bit with the Distress ink. So, so you guys, you know, I've been like talking about for months how I still had snow in my backyard, blah, blah, blah. Well, I still do have snow in my backyard, but it's melting. And yesterday it rained. It's supposed to be raining today, but it really hasn't materialized. Um, but it's so nice to see ground again. <laughs> Oh, it's been a long winter, but I am just excited that it seems like we're on the other side of it. So I figure while I'm recovering from my surgery, I might maybe can sit on my deck in the sunshine and I got to believe that's going to help the, help the um, recovery process. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to give this a little bit of something. It's a little, they're a little pristine for, for my liking. So I just got done saying I don't distress in my garden journals, but... Let's just say, except for a few, um, little embellies that might need a little this and that. I think I need a new walnut stain. I haven't, I haven't been able to find re-inkers anywhere, but I know they make them. I, other people have them, but I haven't been able to find them. So, okay. So let's, oh, let's do the holes and then we'll do the sewing or no, let's do the sewing first. Okay. Let's just make a decision. <laughs> okay. Okay, so start with this guy. I'm just going to do straight stitch all the way around it. think I need to um, change my needle in my sewing machine. I've had this same needle in for a long time and gone through some tough stuff so I'm thinking it's needing it. And I think that's why it's squeaking. Okay, one done. Let's 
do the other big one. You know what I want to do is before, I want to glue these on just so that um, they're a little bit dry by the time we start sewing on them. Imperial Tobacco Company is this one. I'm in camera, am I? Yeah, okay. Okay, we'll let that dry while we sew the other big one. The other thing I wanted to do, hopefully today, is work on some of the wallpaper pages for this journal. Okay, we'll let those two things dry while we are sewing on this one. doesn't like to move on this slippery paper. So I'm having to help it. <laughs> and then when it gets on just the file folder, it's completely happy, but... on that, but that's okay. Okay. Do I want to sew around these? I don't really need it. Hmm. Yeah, I might as well. Machine's not all that happy going through the cigarette tag. <laughs> but, you know, it's pretty good about doing what I want it to do even when I'm pushing it. I've had a lot of people ask me about what kind of um, sewing machine I would recommend and I just think for what we do on paper and through glue and all of that kind of stuff I think you know just a not very expensive machine but one that will still do the job you know a little singer I wouldn't spend more than a couple hundred dollars on a sewing machine for for what we do with it. A little singer, a little brother, I think they're probably both just fine. I've never had a brother, but um, uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't, myself, I wouldn't buy a Bernina to do this with. just be me too. Okay, good enough. Oh, I forgot to tell you when I was babysitting my um, granddaughters, my oldest granddaughter, she had to make an apron because she was an apprentice in 
a little play for social studies or something. And so um, Friday night after her parents left, she and I and sister went downstairs and worked on um, worked on her apron. And she did it all herself. She she was having a little trouble with her um, with her bobbin, and so I was able to help her with that. And then, but then from then on, she just was kind of on her own. You know, she just was really going for it, and it turned out so great. It's just a little, um, you know, tan colored apprentice apron and um yeah it was good so that was kind of a fun little project to start off the weekend it's always it's always fun to do things like that with them we didn't do any crafting we usually do some of that too but um we didn't this time that's okay i don't ever want them to get tired of crafting with me either, you know, <laughs> so. I think next time I'm at Hobby Lobby and they have the, the, um, paper studio embellishments on half price. I need to get some more, um, oops. I need to get some more of the eyelets. There we go. And you know, I never show putting my eyelets in because I have to go in my other room and pound them in with a hammer. So. I'll do that later, but these little tags are well on the way to being done, so that's awesome. Okay, what else did I want to do for um, embellishment type stuff? Excuse me while I put my crocodile away. Um, oh, I was going to start maybe doing some things with the, with the um, wallpaper. So I'm looking in my book just now. I'm not putting it on camera because I kind of want it to be a surprise somewhat for Kim. I was just looking to see if there's any pages where it's got writing but um, Also a spot where I could put a pocket or something. Here's one. Okay, so so I pulled out a bunch of wallpapers that are floral and this one I want to make a pocket out of. Isn't that cute with that little girl? So I for sure, for sure want to do that with this one. So, so that's good. But I was looking for like a strip kind of type of thing if I have something like that. This is the section on trees. That could be nice, but I'd rather have it not cover up. So what if I wrap this and make it like a tuck spot on this side? Okay, I think that's what I'll do. I'll just set these back over here until we do the next thing. Get rid of the distress ink. Don't need that. And bring the sewing machine back my way. Okay, so. Is that about right? Okay. Getting it 
just getting it right I'm trying to get it right on the edge of the page like that okay so what then what I want to do is just sew up the sides because I want this to be a pocket so I think I'm going to zigzag that a little bit and go on this side just because I kind of want the nice stitching to be on this side. what that did off all the strings okay let's see okay so on this side it's just a little tuck so like I can put a tag or something in there like that and then on this side it'll be a pocket so let's find my template which I do believe is probably buried to the max here <laughs> okay where's it? oh it's at the bottom of my wallpaper perfect Okay, and so then I'm just gonna gonna line up the one hole that's still there and then just go through and punch it. go okay yay so there's a good page done um let's do let's make this little pocket and then I probably should let you go Didn't. or make a third video And let's see, so yeah, I think I'm just gonna go zip up and down the sides. going to be so cute. I love that little girl. She's so sweet. Maybe I want to do the leaves on the top because it's um, it's all white so little decoration up there might be nice. That's me being impatient and making it go faster and then that's when I end up having troubles. <laughs> okay, so Yay, have that little pocket. 
That's cute. And then, um, I do think I'm going to put a little, little punch there. Um, I think I'm going to reach this one. That'll be okay. I was trying to avoid her hair. It's got a little tiny bit of it, not too much. Okay. So, another one of those done and or sewn. Let's see where we want to do this. Yeah, we're gonna have to go either up or down. Let's go. Let's go up for a change and then we'll just have to find a page that goes nicely with those colors in the book okay so she is all set to go that's fun okay so what else do we want to do with wallpaper? Maybe, maybe one more. Ooh, this is pretty. You know what, this one, it's a, like a full sheet. So I think I might do another pocket with it. So pretty. Yeah, I think I'll do a pocket with that one just like the other one. And then I want to find one that would make kind of a fun, like almost like an envelope. This one maybe. Have to, you know, has to be a little bit larger. So make that the flap and that the body of the envelope and then we're gonna I'm gonna sew I'm gonna sew all the way around it I just don't know that I want green thread so let's just Let's just get busy with this and see what happens. I'm going to do this one first because the green thread is just fine for this one. And I don't know. I think I'm going to do, I'm going to start out just straight stitch and do a little back and forth. And then I'm going to switch over to kind of a, it's almost like a scallop. Just something a little fancier on this because it's kind of a little more fancy of a wallpaper I feel like. That was horrible grammar. I apologize. <laughs> I think it's what goes on in my head, though. I'm not always grammatically correct in my head, for sure. Ah, darn it. Back here. Oh, well. Okay. I'll call you good. We'll just tie you off. Yeah, that's kind of a fun, it's a fun stitch on that one. So let's see, I'll just do a little back and forth here. Ah, my needle came out, I forgot to pull it, so didn't pull out enough and so my needle came in. undone. My granddaughter is like ace at threading a needle because of course her eyes are way better than mine. <laughs> in there. 
So, there, got it. Um, yeah, so anyway, I was, I was telling her, yeah, you've got that needle threading down for sure. Helps to be able to see. <laughs> Okay, and then I know these decorative stitches take more thread and more time to do, but I do think it's kind of fun to have some just a little extra flare to it, you know? Except for whole, the hole punching and you know we might want to put a little something right there so that's awesome but I kind of want to do the envelope so let's change out the thread real quick because I'm thinking this needs to be brown whoops um, And, oops, got a, got a chomp. Um, <clears throat> and then we'll have a good amount of things to play with, not even kind of close to being done, because I'll do more wallpaper than this um, for sure. So funny, I just changed from brown to green because I was thinking it would be better for this garden journal, which in general it is, but I think this particular wallpaper will look prettier with brown. And let's face it, looking pretty is the is the objective, right? Okay, so this one I'm just gonna zigzag I think around the edges. And then if we sew it first, then we can sort of position the um, position the hole so that we're not um, cutting through a stitch to make the binder holes. sort of little closure on the um, on this envelope because that would be fun wouldn't it I don't know what um, exactly but but that's fun I like that and then I'll just put the holes down here and she can stick things in there and it's good and tough because it's wallpaper so what would we want to put on here? I'm kind of looking on my little ugh, cigarette things. There's um, there's butterflies too. I wonder if there's like a blue one or something. Like that might be kind of pretty. That goes with the gold. And then the black, blue background. Let's just do that. That's pretty. Okay, and then, so, 
So I basically want to glue kind of the bottom third, I think. We'll have that little envelope. That'll be fun. Just like that. Make sure it's kind of straight. And then it can just, the flap can just tuck into that cigarette card. Oh, that is cute. I like that. Okay, oops, sorry, hit the camera. That was with my leg that time. Didn't even come close to hitting the handle. Okay, now my, this. I'm, what I'm thinking is I'm wondering if I want to put holes in it and put it in like that, or if I just want it to, to tuck into a pocket and have it more easily removable. I think I might do that. I think I might do that instead. And then I can just put on a page, maybe. Let's, just, let's look for a page here that would have, that it would be pretty on the bottom of this one. We could just, yeah, make a tuck at the bottom to put that in. So we want something that's going to look good with that paper-wise. Do I... I wonder if that would be strong enough. I don't know. I almost think it needs to be a little, little bit higher, a little bit stronger. Mm -hmm. What to do? What to do? Hmm. I think it might be too wide. I think I'm going to just go ahead and punch it because just don't think that's going to work great. So that's good. That made that decision easy. So we'll just go ahead and punch it and see the um, sewing threads are there. So I'm going to actually just move it up a little bit to punch so that I don't punch through the threads. Okay, so that'll be super cute in there, though, I think. So let's see. I think we're, yes, we're a little over an hour. So I am just going to call it good for this Craft With Me session. I'm sorry I had to, I had to have a short one at the beginning in this one because of my phone call. But um, anyway, everyone, we will just see you on the next video. I'm hoping to... Hoping to make a few more before I'm out of commission. And even once I am, I have some ideas of some videos that I can make. So, so we will just see you next time. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.